What did you think the business was worth on a multiple of EBITDA or multiple of revenue? Like, I'm not sure how you were thinking of valuing it, but. Yeah, in my mind, it was a, um, conservatively, it would have been a multiple of EBITDA, like a lot of companies, you know, it would be hard to argue that there wasn't something real there. It was growing very quickly. We had a lot of new opportunities. I think you could have argued there was, you know, something pretty significant beyond a standard EBITDA multiple. But I also um, really believe that if we did it in a friendly way and we did it faster, that it would be better for every, I would rather take less money now, but be like, it's clean. They have it. I've, you know, I've switched gears in my life. I, you know, do what I want versus think about this. So we, we came to a, a number, which was a, you know, a, a multi seven figure number that felt like it balanced that really well. I knew it would be worth more in the future if things continue to go well. I didn't really want to wait for that. I didn't want them to have to wait for that. So we agreed to what I would call a low to reasonable multiple so we could get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm again, you can confirm deny or just to tell me where to go, but like, I'm thinking it would have been a, like a, a six or a seven times EBITDA. Am I kind of in the ballpark eight times? Yeah, that think, kind of a, yeah, ish, think, if it's growing quickly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way we, we sort of looked at it and said, you know, let's find, let's find the right balance of, and in my mind, guaranteed cash, even though I love the business, it was like, it's got to be guaranteed cash or, or there's no reason for me to do it. I, I'm the majority owner. I have, you know, a lot of upside. So it was, you know, cash at close versus any kind of structured payout that's guaranteed felt appropriate to me. And there were some other perks, which I'm happy to talk about that were like, hey, you know, those are valuable to me too. They mean maybe as much as money, but certainly are worth considering that I felt would be easy for them to do and would be valuable to me after I sold the business. And like so what, what were some of the perks that you saw? Well, one of the things that, that naturally happened um, in this business, because, you know, again, big partnerships with Barcelona, I had lived in Barcelona and had amazing season tickets. I had access to the club and the players. We had a big partnership with Nike. So going to Champions League finals in other countries or being, you know, being invited to events as a VIP um, I could pay for those things, but it felt different when you get invited. Sure. And Nike's like, hey, come to our box. And so one of the things that was happening more and more for the company was we were getting these opportunities and inv invites. And I said, look, I if I step away, I'd like to have out into the future the next four or five Champions League final tickets. I'd like to have the World Cup. I'd like to have, which I knew would be relatively easy for them and would even feel less than money. But for me, I would have four or five years of amazing matches to go to that would feel like a gift. It would be free, you know. So we we structured some things like that, which uh, you know were really a good fit for both of us. 